Welcome back everyone to episode 26 of Let's Play Rule the Waves as Austria-Hungary. Um, I have actually played a whole episode off camera, but I'm not going to release it because it was just a bunch of cruiser engagements and really boring, and I just got done with a fight which annoyed me. I had a convoy defense which they gave me control of a light cruiser, and I was up against in West Africa. Two battleships, a heavy cruiser, and a couple light cruisers. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, come on. <laughs> It doesn't really make sense. It, it doesn't make sense. What am I going to do? Also, I wanted to note this. During the recent battle, crew performance was adversely affected by poor living conditions away from home waters on some ships. Now, I don't have... All of my cramped accommodations are in the Mediterranean. I'm not sure why that's happening. But that's... I mean, I don't know what to do about it. I think that that's probably something that comes from cramped accommodations. I've always avoided cramped accommodations just because I wasn't sure what kind of effects it has. And if it does have this effect to lower your crew quality, I would prefer to avoid it. But um, I'm not, I can't change anything about that now. I don't really understand the mechanic very well. That's the real problem is that I don't know what I'm doing in that situation. So anyways, uh, I, don't, I think we've lost a destroyer since um, the last time you guys were watching. Germany has like 50 and I have 8. I just lost one of mine because in that battle, the light cruiser battle, the AI controlled the destroyer and it was killed. So, But we're still doing really well. Okay. No. <laughs> what? Border cry. That's just crazy. Okay, scouting force. A lot of interesting things. I have been doing coastal raids. I actually did one with my heavy cruisers. By the way, Blinson is now a St. George II class. Didn't really know which um, ship to rename for anybody. So if you have a specific type you'd want to be renamed as, let me know. But I chose the St. George II because it's kind of my new hero class. So I figured that people would not object to that. The only ones I'm not going to rename are the namesake of the class itself. So the first class, the first ship of any class. Those I won't rename. Okay, so let's go ahead and accept this. If it turns out like it did last time, nothing's going to happen. It will be a very boring engagement. But maybe it's worth risking just because on the, at the same time, maybe I'll get off an engagement against some heavy cruisers. What happened last time is I, I found myself up against their main battle fleet. Battle cruisers, dreadnoughts. Certainly beyond the capability of my two heavy cruisers to engage and now I only have one heavy cruiser so let's get this guy just to go up to 20 he's an oil burner so uh, that does mean that he's a little bit better at persistent long distant high speed however I don't want to push it by going to squad max immediately so this will take forever unless I oh I'm not too disappointed by the low visibility it would have been nice to spot some like merchant ships first let's see what kind of yeah, we might as well just remove guns from the range because that's not going to be important. And torpedoes are actually way more than my vision as well. So we'll see if we can stumble into their main battle line, launch a few torpedoes or something like that. Hopefully get away. That's the main. That's the goal. Okay, at least now. It's still nighttime, don't be confused. Uh, the bad weather has gone away though. So yeah, the visibility is very poor. I should also check. Speed is limited to 16 knots. And our current speed is 17. Okay, yeah, so we will have to be very careful. We will not be able to escape very well, actually, in this stormy weather. Okay, that's really good to know. <laughs> does that mean at any point in time? Yeah, it really does mean you can't go that much faster. That's. Kind of cool. I'm going to go over here. I think I had some luck tracking down some ships over here last time. I mean, I, I have no idea how... Oh! Well, speaking of... Looks like a transport ship. Uh, it's actually a destroyer. 
and we hit it with our 9 inch guns and our 6 inch guns, that's probably enough to sink it. <laughs> One would think. Now, torpedoes. Come on, man. Let's be a little bit afraid of torpedoes. We have just blasted the hell out of it. Okay, we are avoiding torpedoes, but that's a good thing. That means they've already launched their torpedoes, and it really. And they aren't going to really be able to escape us, I forget, because... Oh, it's sinking. The sea, li sea state is limiting the water. So we'll keep our massive turns going on just to make sure that we don't get hit by torpedoes. Okay. Very good. Come on. That's another 9-inch hit. Oh, two more. Come on. This thing is like just shredded. Completely, completely shredded at this point. Okay, there it is. Let's turn really tight. Come on. Turn really tight. There it is. There it is. Okay. Call that one done. Wait. Who are you holding fire on? Is there another one I'm not aware of? No. Okay, so our speed's down to 15. Let's go ahead and motor on this way, see if we can find something else. That makes up for that destroyer that they killed in that convoy defense. But good job. Okay, well, we guess we accomplished our objective was only to sink one ship. <laughs> Fine, fair enough. But let's see if we can do a little bit more than that. And maybe not, because we're really running out of time. Limited to 20 knots now, so at least that helps us get our max speed off. Okay, we set. Now this, okay, it's good that this ship looks small and it's well within our sight radius before we noticed it. All right, it's actually just a minesweeper. Okay, fine. Because that means it's not a big ship. Okay, we sank it already. Oh, another un unidentified ship. What do we have here? Another minesweeper. Very good, let's go for it. And this is actually, if you see that the class is identified and it just says MS, that means it's one generated by the game for port defense. But if it actually gives a class, wow, two five inch. How, how does this thing exist? Two five inch guns and four two inch guns. It's actually pretty good. I mean, it's a sizable armament. <laughs> So um, this is actually one we'll sink that belongs to the German Navy, part of its statistics on the Almanac screen. Okay, that was pretty good. Plenty of hits. You'd think that it would, it would just immediately sink with that kind of pressure. You can abandon ship, you know. We won't hunt down and run over your survivors. We just want you to sink. I mean, come on, this is ridiculous. A tiny ship taking... Yeah, there it is. All right, let's get out of here. We have sank two Almanac ships. So, no reason to put ourselves in danger. Mission accomplished. Oh, I thought for sure that was the end of the fight. Okay, let's keep going. There it is. So they didn't, they didn't have any of their heavy ships over here, actually. Huh. But this is the good news. We sank at least one minesweeper that's real and one destroyer. All right. So another victory for us. Not that it really matters, the victory points. More I just want to... Ooh, unrest is up to four. That's probably because they're raiding. I'm also trying to raid. Okay, let's get the Karzel, Kaiser Karl to also raid. West Africa, I think I had these guys raiding, right? Let's get both of them to raid. Um, let's send both of these guys back. Well, let's just try sending one back. West Africa. And I'm going to send one more light cruiser down there. Now, let's just get a whole bunch of these guys to raid. Anything we can do would be fantastic to weaken the resolve of the German people. 
Okay, here we go. One, two, four. Eh, well, four is better than none. Cruiser action. Oh, we can sink uh, our merchant cruiser. It's kind of fun. Oh, the St. George. Out from retirement, she's on a, a pleasant stroll. When suddenly she sights. <laughs> that can't be a real merchant ship. Come, leopard, let us investigate. Oh, it appears to be more than just your every day. Oh my gosh, it is a battleship. What the hell? I, when I see these things, I, I should speak this out loud, but the first thing I do is I analyze, can the St. George defeat this? But it can't. The next thing I do is analyze, well, what about my leopard? But this um, early battleship has extensive anti-destroyer defense. 9, 6 inch and 7, 3 inch per side, which all are very capable of sinking the leopard. What does my leopard have though? It, this is a, a risk reward type situation. Maybe it's still worth throwing the leopard in because the chance of actually sinking the ship much, it, it, like the reward for that is much greater than the loss of a leopard. All right, well, let's just be bold. Be bold, he can, you know, he, what is it? I don't remember the expressions. But we're going to do it anyway. So let's get the St. George to first start absorbing some of the fire. We want to be ahead of them, which means that we're not on the correct. But we got the leopard to kind of... I'm also going to do this. It's, all, it's a single one in the formation, but I feel like that helps. Okay, here we go. Let me actually get this lined up because we're gonna go for it. And the worst thing can happen, I think, is the leopard is destroyed. If that happens, I mean, obviously the St. George, it'll be sad if the St. George all dies, of course. We don't want that to happen. She's, but I mean, this is what she lives for, is going up against, you know, crazy overwhelming odds and uh, coming out victorious. Okay, we need the St. George to keep putting pressure on the Schwappen. Okay, light guns are engaging. All right, Leopard, this is your chance. Launching torpedoes. Come on, that's a, that's a massive hit. Okay, what, we need you to launch some more. Ah, you missed. Ah, you missed some more. We need your other side. Go to port, go to port, quick to port. Oh, well, three torpedoes were launched. It's a, a noble effort. Now, the Leopard is going to absorb some more hits, so let's try to take advantage of this. Maybe we can sneak a few hits on the Schwappen. I'm so sorry. Well, don't worry, you're in friendly waters. We'll recover you as best we can. I think it was a pretty good effort, actually. We did get three torpedoes off, so that's something. Okay, so now, uh, does the St. George continue to engage? I am, because I'm in foolish, and I really think the St. George can do this, despite the fact that this ship has amazing armor. We'll pursue until we really are given a reason, like that almost, <laughs> to get out of here. Yeah, I mean, this is certainly risky. But the St. George, this is what she lives for. I, I just, in my head, I can't imagine the, Saint, the crew of the St. George turning down an opportunity even to engage a battleship. And although it's doubtful we'll be able to penetrate or do much damage at all, 
By the way, why aren't you launching torpedoes? We're in this huge, long engagement, very persistent. Any kind of advantage you can gain would be a good one. Okay, your max speed is only down to 21. We are doing something. They're obviously doing a lot more. What, what kind of guns are these? These are only 10 inch guns though. Still, their guns are heavier than us and on top of that, our armor is much, like twice weaker. Come on, St. George. Avenge the leopard. Nighttime is coming. That's probably a good thing for us. Your miss. Okay, light guns, I don't mind. Nine inch hit. Good. Six inch hit. Come on, nighttime. We need to hold out until nighttime. We could also run them into a, a mine. I've tried this before, of course, and it didn't work, but. How's the St. George doing? Is she, she is engaging with all her guns. That's good. Looks like she's going to avoid that mine. Eh, we're kind of on pace for it. I think a little bit more. If we drive back hard at her, we, we'll be able to push her away. That's a lot easier than um, trying to pull away and see if she follows us. Okay, engine room hit, that's not good. What's your speed at? 16, oh my god, we might have just sunk the St. George. All you have with you now is the ability to use your tactics. Send them into that minesweeper, I mean to that mine patch. Send them there with St. George. If you want to live, you will send them there. Things are looking good. Oh my gosh, it had to get dark right now. We're just, just in time. And we're taking a beating too. All right, uh, under cover of darkness, let's pull towards the bigger coast of mines. <laughs> And uh, I guess we're already going squad max, so let's just pull away. Most unfortunate, we'll have to see what kind of damage that did. Uh, risk reward, I think it was all worth it in the end. If the St. George is uh, stuck in port for a while, what do we really care? I mean, she's useless unless we use her. <laughs> so, all right. So we only did light damage. Yeah. Okay. Fine. It it was not in the end a good. But like that's what you you know this is like if you roll a one or two on the dice you sink their ship. But if you roll a three, four, five, or six you you lose yours. Since their ship is like way more than twice the value of yours, you go ahead and take that risk. The cost-benefit analysis works out. All right, well, disappointing so far. Burn. So it gets far. Kaiser Carl. Blinson, doing well. Oh, a battleship engagement. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's just when I thought we had a chance. Uh, cruiser action, let's just accept it. Uh, if this seems like it's going to be light cruisers or whatever, I'm, yeah, this is a new one at least, Navara. Let's rush through this. If it's going to take a while, I might just cut the episode. Okay, we're on the correct side. Let's try to lure them. All right, so let's go ahead and kill the Augsburg. Revenge for the uh, sinking of our panther, leopard, whatever it was. Quite a lot of damage so far already. Let's encourage torpedo launching because, you know, why not, basically. 
Lots of damage. Lots of good damage. Come on. Head him off. Let's go a little bit slower. I, I think that might help our accuracy a bit. That we need it. I mean, we're doing quite well, but. Jammed. I'm hardly even paying attention to the picture. I'm just looking at the log to see if we're getting hits. Keep zigzagging, basically skiing down the slope. <laughs> Jammed, okay, let's switch back. This should be over soon though. Okay, let's try this. Okay, good. So you can do run for multiple hours and then just hit spacebar to stop the recording. That's really nice to know. It still pauses, unfortunately, when you don't ask it to pause. Must be. Surely this is the end for the Augsburg. This is a pretty resilient ship. We're certain she's taken a, a real pounding, but keeps going. Okay, there it is. Now we're really starting to get the damage done. Fantastic. Revenge for the Leopard. Alright, so we did a fair amount of um, patrolling damage to them. Our unrest level is up to 5, though, so... hmm. With the monthly balance we have, I guess it is time to start building one more ship. I'm going to get, well, okay, we have five Kaiser, Kaiser classes, and yeah, they're, they're a pretty good ship, though. I do like them. Whoops, zoomed in way too much. Uh, well, we're going to be replacing the Monarch class, but I, I think the Battle Cruiser is what we should do next, because that's really where we can send those things everywhere to raid, whatever. So let's save our money. Hmm. I'm going to decline convoy defense. Even though it says 105, that probably means that they have battleships involved. But look at their battleship choices. Although, just the opportunity that it could be our battleships. Okay, now. You know what I'm going to do? I think this is going to be another one where I just get completely overrun by their forces. This is exactly what happened last time. Um, it was they just wrecked my forces, battleships, etc. So I'm probably not going to show this one on camera. It's a little bit boring. Um, it's a little frustrating for me even. So I, I would prefer to stay positive and you know show how much I enjoy this game rather than show that it's a little unfair for them to give me a light cruiser and send me up against a battleship, a battle cruiser, and heavy cruisers, etc. So maybe I'll, I'll wait to get a little closer. Let's see. Okay, well. What do we really have? This is the important thing. They're firing and killing us. We don't have any defenses this time, so... Okay, well, let me just try to get over there. Let's see what we have. Ah! I need to enable vision. There it is, okay. So we are headed exactly in the right direction. Should be spotting them soon. There it is, okay. So what do we have here? Destroyer, all right. Well, I can take on a destroyer. Not only that, I would love to because They're wrecking our ships. I'm going to try to put myself on an intercept course. There's one hit. Very good. A couple hits. Very good. Sure, they sank my uh, merchant ships, but I don't really care about that as long as we can pull off the victory. Come on, one more hit. There it is. There's two more. Perfect. Sank it. Very good. Now, I think that's not all we have to worry about. Yeah, there's only one. <laughs> there's only... Well, this is the only ship remaining. <laughs> so we'll patrol around here until she's threatened, and probably call this episode to a close after that. So 
So if you do want to have your name thrown onto the list of ships, like the Blinson, who has been added to our Navy, let me know if you'd like a particular ship type. Otherwise, I'll probably just classify you as a St. George II. Yeah, okay, so they had more destroyers, but they maybe they all fled. I don't know. It's still considered a minor victory for them because they sank five of my convoy ships, but I'm happy with this result. It's kind of stupid. They said 105 victory points to decline that, which surprises me. That usually indicates that there's ships worth fighting that you would decline, but in the end it wasn't the same. Here we go again. During recent battle crew performance was adversely affected by poor living conditions away from home waters on some ships. I, I, I still feel like that's part of the cramped accommodations, but they're in our home waters. So perhaps I just need to just get rid of all my Bobenberg classes as well. Um, they're a fantastic ship. I, I like having them around because I, I don't actually mind putting those up against any kind of Dreadnought or Battlecruiser. They're not the fastest and they're definitely not the most well armed, but um, they're very well, they're like a big tank. And if I had other battleships with them, like my Kaiser class, they can try, I can put these forward to absorb hits while my Kaiser class go to town. But I'm going to call this video to a close here. So thanks for watching. And what do we do with this money? I think a battlecruiser. If you have your own opinion on the matter, I mean, like a destroyer is probably necessary too, considering I was going to make this more of a uh, torpedo friendly playthrough. But just go ahead and leave your opinion if you have one in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.